Abigail Standing Light Jab used to be very convenient for Abigail players to anti-air. But since the winter update, every character's standing light jab has virtually lost all priority in terms of anti-airing your opponent. As you can see, even when I space Abigail out, he loses the trade every time. Abby stand medium is not a great anti-air either, although you can get lucky, but Abby still has some buttons that are great anti-airs. Starting with his crouching hard punch. This button has lots of priority and I suggest will win you the trade most times. Another fantastic anti-air option for Abigail is Abby Lift, where you press forwards towards opponent and hard punch, which also hits your opponent high up in the air. But as always, you can still lose the trade if you take too long pressing your button. Abby's Nitro Charge can also be used as an anti-air as it has armor properties, which also gives you combo opportunities and V-trigger activation opportunities. Please note that Abby is still vulnerable on the first frame, so time your charge accordingly. So as you've seen, you can follow up with a punch or you can follow up with the grab. Both options are very satisfying and will surely annoy your opponent and make him or her worry. And now for some anti-air into V-trigger activation combos. So if you are a new Abigail player, please be aware that this is a fantastic way to turn the tide of the battle. With your opponent in the corner, you can connect the Abby lift two times, but not three times. You can activate after the second successful Abby lift, but you cannot punch after the activation. Due to combo scaling limits, nor can you go into the Abigail punch after the activation, so please be aware. But you can connect a hybrid charge. Now you can of course challenge jumping attacks with your own jumping attacks, but in reality, Abigail is just too slow for you to react in time for a jumping air-to-air -air battle. Honestly, he's just too slow to react in that way, so stick to the options I've shown you and another option I'm going to show you right now. Now for possibly Abigail's coolest anti-air is his standing B-School 1. You can do this low as well for low attacks. If you are crouching, then press the B-School buttons. But for the anti-air, you of course need to be standing on your two feet. Make sure you press the V score button, you activate it just as your opponent is about to land a hit on Abigail's body. Just watch how easy it is for Abigail to go from defense to attack with this V score button. It can be tricky to time at first, it did take me a while to be honest, but just make sure you time it as I said before to activate just as your opponent is about to touch Abigail's body. Make sure you keep watching as I'm about to show you in a few moments the anti-air combos you can do from his V trigger 1 activation. With Abby's V Trigger 1 activation, his hard punches turn into charge attacks with lots of armor and juggle opportunity. Holding backwards hard punch and pressing the hard punch button a second time launches your opponent high up in the air. So as you can see, Abigail still has good opportunities for anti-airs and he can actually go from defense to attack in a very powerful way, in a way that other characters can actually not do. You just need to work on your timing, particularly with the V Trigger 1 anti-air combinations. And that's what training mode is for. If I've given you any value in this video, then please share, like, subscribe to my channel. It would be awesome to help my channel grow. I have a passion for this game and for fighting games in general, just as you do. Now have a wonderful day or evening.